Hello and welcome to the weekend edition of Channel Sport this morning. I'm Taya Salah. Good morning and welcome. I'm Cecilia Amogbe. We can start with Nigerian Professional Football League. No, not that. So definitely starting with the news coming from FIFA. Yes. The fact that Big Africa news. will definitely get four more slots and that will be nine. That's the proposal anyway. Yeah, proposal. So we're we're so. just waiting for it to happen. So if Africa can actually get nine slots at the 2026 World Cup. So, so we, we shouldn't celebrate yet. Um, there's still a bit of a question FIFA mark there. Proposing. Yeah, that's the proposal they asked for. Nine the... automatic places mm -hmm. for Africa. Yes. In from 2026. From 2026. Yes. Yeah, hopefully that's the case. I mean, hopefully that sticks and uh, Nigeria can, you know, um, have an easier chance of qualifying for the World Cup. And also on the <laughs> show, the derby is that not only a derby, Arsenal and Manchester City will be in action this weekend after the international break i think promotion lovers are happy oh the that the international break is over of course <laughs> the league is starting and it's a super sunday for as mm. it's already on the fire we all know that yeah it's on the pressure obviously um pep guardiola is on the pressure as well so not as much as um as but this is the match uh, of the round in the english and premier league uh, no doubt about that from football we'll talk about tennis now where we have a finalist in the Miami at the Miami Open, that's for the women's singles event, and it's going to be uh, Joanna Conta uh, will take on Caroline Wozniak. Cecilia, mm -hmm. um, the set now. Okay. I mean, the guys are still battling in the semis, but for the ladies, it's incredible. It's all set for the final on Saturday uh, between Joanna Conta and Caroline Wozniak. Yeah, for Conta, she happens to be the first British woman to reach first. the Miami yes. Open final. It's like Remember the Sydney International, she won it. That was her first title this year. And now she's in the final. And the Australian Open, was it last year? Mm. She defeated Bosniaki. She's going to be the second time they'll be meeting. But mm. then, she already had one edge over her. So just wait and see what's going to happen at this one. But yeah. then before she could get there, she was able to beat Venus she Williams, to do it that game way. went into the midnight. Yeah. I mean, most yeah. of the fans were already leaving the stadium when she was able to triumph after almost more than two hours. Yes. More than very, two very hours. It was just game. two sets, six, four, seven, five. Fine. But then she just had to hold on to be able to beat a 36 year old Venus Williams. Mm -hmm. More than two hours. Yeah. It was a long game. Yeah, it's a very long one. Like I said, um, some of the fans. Um, started to leave already because so well it was past the midnight uh, but um it just shows you that john account has she has a momentum on the side she has a very uh, modern descent on 2016 uh on the wta tour and she's carried that momentum into 2017 and that has made her has made her you know um you know make this history of being the first um, british woman uh to reach uh the final of the miami open so um, congratulations to Joanna Conta. She's going to take on Caroline Wozniacki, who who seems to be on form as well too now, and I promise this to be a very good final in the making. Well, I, you know, I, I just imagine how she was able to hold on to this Venus because the first set was a bit easy for her, but that second set, I mean, she just had to hold on for a very, very long time because when you are uh, meeting. Venus Williams, who yeah. at 36, she doesn't play as if she's 36, she plays as if she's 25 or 26, you know, that tells you a whole lot about this powerful lady. But for mm. Conta, I think it's a good one for her, one. you know, making history and also opportunity. Someone you've beaten before at the Australian Open just early this year, you're meeting that same person in the final. Mm. You already have that psychological edge. It's okay, I've beaten her before, I can beat her again. But uh, for Karina uh, Bosniak, she had to go into three sets for her to beat Pliskova. That was a 5 7 6 1 6 1. I, I think she has this resilience in her. If she wasn't the resilience, I don't think she'd have been able to come back from 5 7 down in the first yep. set and be able to win the second and the third set with the same, you know, score 6 1 6 1. That's huge. Yeah, big, big result uh, for uh, Caroline Wozniacki. And like I said, uh, um, our endurance uh, looked to, you know, pay off. Uh, at the end of the day uh, in this victory over this Carolina uh, Piscova. Um, so um, for Caroline, I mean, she's been, there are a few people out there that feel she hasn't really lived up to 
And also, not a few people, I'm yeah. one of them. You're one of them. Former world number one, okay. Nanji. At that time, yes. she hasn't won a grand slam. At that time, we were having Serena Williams, so he's mm. injured today and tomorrow. She's yeah, so you expected her to so go on and dominate. That was what I felt. Yeah, it, but she it, just couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, it hasn't been the case uh, for Wozniaki. But it's good to see her, uh, you know, you know, playing good tennis at the moment. Now, we thought the first semi final between uh, Conta uh, and um, the, uh, the opponents were Venice Williams was long. This was even longer. <laughs> and um, she had to just complete uh, the victory early this morning and uh, five seven like you said six one six one uh, she was able to take uh, that particular match so we all set for the final match at the Miami Open uh, between uh, Joanna Conta and Caroline uh, Wozniacki so yeah let's we'll see what happens let, on let, Saturday let, I can't wait <laughs> <laughs> but you know what let's listen to Wozniacki now talking about her game and how she had to hold on after the first set when I had the two three sets and she was able to win the game yeah, um, you know, that was a tough first set and having set points there and, and then losing the set was kind of, you know, a punch in the stomach. You're like, oh, I fought so hard and for nothing. And then I got a good start into the second set and that kind of got my hopes back up. And I was like, OK, I'm going to try and grind my way back. I'm just going to keep my head down and forget the first set and then just keep going. Victory to make that final in Miami. Okay, well, she's so happy, excited that she's in the final. So, but you're gonna meet someone you're used to. All she needs to do just put over what happened in Australia and just focus on it. She might just get her first title mm. of the year. Okay, uh, Roger Federer, the guys are still in the semis. Nick Kyrgios, both of them this time around, no injury, right? Yeah, well, the last time around, we'll there was see if there's yeah, no, that, the last time around, there's no football, isn't it? No, yeah, I didn't know that if he's okay, so I they guess. get to play the game finally. Mm, yeah, interesting. Um, we have our semi finalists, um, um, the, the pairings are complete now, and it's going to be uh, Roger Federer uh, versus Nick Kyrgios in one semi final, while the second semi final will, uh, will be between Rafael Nadal and Fabio Fognini. So let's talk about this particular semi-final uh, for Roger Federer against Thomas Burdick. It was a very, very tough one and Roger Federer had to really dig deep uh, to win uh, this particular match. 6-2, 3-6, 7-6. As the scoreline suggests, uh, the final set uh, went into, into a tie break and um, Federer just had to bring, uh, bring out all his experience. Uh, to uh, record uh, the victory in this one. Everything you she, can think of, you yeah, have to bring all of that. Everything out, he had to bring it out. He had to bring it out. Or else he would have just lost out to uh, Berdick, who had a very uh, good yeah. game uh, as well. Too. So um, Federer is just an incredible form, and it looks like it would take some really, really 